Complex Dragon 457. Um, tonight we're gonna be reading the Apex Legends um, Pathfinder's Quest book. Um, I think we're just gonna be going through chapter by chapter. Right now it's just like a test run or whatever. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be that long because we're just going to be going through the, the prologue, which is, I think it's just a couple pages long. Yeah, it's just four pages long, but this is a pretty big book. So each page has a good chunk of information, but I don't know. This video it probably isn't going to be as long as that was, but... We're starting with uh, chapter zero. Here we go. This will be fun. Um, this is read uh, in the perspective of Pathfinder. The topic says, Pathfinder Memory Log Daisy. I wake up in, ab in an abandoned warehouse and since then my life has been very fun. I've seen so many things and met so many great people. Wow, I'm lucky and it's only been 33 years and 4 days. It's sad that my memory logs don't have any information about what my life was before that day. And I, realize, and I really wish I could know because that would mean I'd, I'd know who created me. Which is my number one goal. But it didn't start that way. My memory logs only showed that I woke up alone, surrounded by cobwebs, dust, mechanical tools, little insects, and wires connected to destroyed computers. On a workstation, I found a piece of paper that looked like, that looked like me with the word Marvin written on it, which I assumed what, what, that was my name. So, I took it and began my journey of going somewhere else that wasn't there. My location records show that I traveled everywhere became, between gay to solace for a number of years. I recall going on freighter ships and transports all around all the time in order to get to, from planet to planet. I think they just thought I was part of the machinery because I never paid for passage. But no matter where I was going, my purpose was still unknown. That is, until I broke my leg on a person who, I think, wanted to steal my leg. Unfortunately, it costs a lot of money for a leg. It costs, it costs money to get a leg fixed, and I didn't have any of that. So I had no choice but to get a job, which was extremely fun. Under that, there's a logbox, Pathfinder Employment Records. Farmer, fired for not knowing how to farm. Teacher, fired for not knowing how to teach. Engineer, not fired for knowing too much and putting every other employee out of a job. Marketing agent, fired for telling the truth. Corporate overlord, fire, fired for making a joke. Coat rack, fired for moving. Secretary, fired for hanging up on important calls. Arms dealer, fired for calling everyone friend. Line cook, fired for setting the kitchen on fire. Fuel attendant, fired for setting the station on fire. Firefighter, fired for, for getting my ID. This goes on to the next page. To pilot, fired for landing upside down. Weatherman, fired for predicting the weather. Ice cream server, fired for not knowing how the ice cream tasted. Window washer, fired for scaring too many people. Under that, it continues the log box. It wasn't until I met one of my really good friends, Victor Maldera, who saved my life after by arresting me and putting me in danger, that I found myself with a purpose for the first time since I woke up. I was made for something special, and the person who made me was a mystery. I don't know why my creator doesn't want me to know who they are. Maybe we just got separated and they've been looking for me. Or maybe they have been in danger and are waiting for me to save them. Or maybe I did something wrong and they don't want to see me anymore. Which is probably not true, because I've told lots of people that I've been told lots of times that I am a joy to be around and a very snarky twin tone for some reason. Either way, since that day I've been looking I've been looking for my creator. I've shouted down the streets of Su 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 
put up banners throughout Samathia's capital city, and even tried to get some attention on feed after learning that my creator may have have frequented frequented local taverns on Solace. But that ended up being a lie, which was told told to me by my now best friend Mirage. I met the amazing Elliot Mirage Wit at his bar, the Paradise Lounge, after walking in and asking whoever would listen to help me find my creator. Two gentlemen told me that they knew exactly who my creator was, and that they would tell me if I helped them build a house, which I did for the next three weeks. After I finished, I never saw those two friends again. While at the bar one day, Elliot explained to me that I was being taken advantage of, and they had no intention of ever telling me who my creator was, and they probably never seen, never knew the answer to begin with. This made me express my sad face. Why do people lie? It only creates sadness, unless they choose to lie to avoid sadness. But still, that may only last a short time. I've never lied. I always speak the truth because I don't see any other way to express what I want to say. I guess that that's what I guess that's what could be called my personality. But Elliot just calls me a weird smiling robot, which I guess is also true. I trust Elliot because he, like my friend Maldera, talked to me about talked to me more than a minute. That's all I need to that's all I need to call someone my friend. Just a small amount of time in their lives that they chose to spend with me. In Elliot's case, he took the time out of his day to give me advice and, a thing I'll never forget, he told me the best way I could find my creator, I could join the Apex Games. The Apex Games is a place where I can fight with my friends against other bad friends. When we win, we become champions. The games put a picture of me on a giant banner for everyone to see. Since then, I've been hoping that my that if my face is shown throughout the Outlands, then maybe my creator will find me, instead of the other way around. It's been four years since I've joined the Apex Games, and it's been very fun. I've met a lot of great friends, but I still haven't found my creator. That is, until recently, when I discovered an old deactivated Marvin on Olympus. Something about it seemed special to me, and I wanted to turn it on. Thanks to... Thanks to the help of my friends Lifeline, Gibraltar, and Octane, I did. And when I turned it on, it spoke to me. Under that, it has a transcription box. Transcript box. It says, This is Dr. Emil Pat Blank. We've managed to blank thanks to the additional funding from Chevrex and Blank. Last week, Blank Iris is officially Blank the event. We're starting Blank the future of the Outlands. Blank Alecki and myself will blank NR Marvin Pathfinder. I blank history and law. I'm not sure what it means or who it was from, but I think I recognize that voice. I've heard it before, as if I as if I had it burned into my memory, and even though it's gone for some reason, I still know it. This is all very strange, very exciting, and very emotional. I've been looking I've been looking for my creator for a long time and I may find them and now I may find them but first I need to solve these clues under that it has a clue box transmission clues Chevrex the future of the outlands Dr. Emil Paquette or it has PA and then um, it cuts off the event Alecki and Iris I guess it's time to start my journey day one here we go this will be fun. Now, where to start? And that's where the prologue ends, and then it leads into chapter one with Lifeline. Now, that's all I'm going to be doing for today. But um, if you guys want more of it, you can just ask me in the comments. I don't really care. I might, be, I might do it even if. No one watches it anyway, but I don't know. It might motivate me further to read the book, which I think is kind of illegal because I don't know. But if you guys want, that's cool too. But it's getting late. I'm gonna go to bed soon. So have a nice night or day.
whatever it is. Have a good one. See you.